So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rum Director channel. My name is Christian as always. So if you've been paying attention to my Instagram page, at the Rum Direct, the line will be right there, I hope, you'll realize that uh, I've got a new box today. Got a new delivery. Yes, it's from the Whiskey Exchange. Once again, I've been buying more booze. So today we're going to do the unboxing video of that. And so yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you right after this. And here we go, the box is open. Let's see what lies inside. So ladies and gentlemen, we've seen what was inside the box, now you're going to see that here. We have this box, which as you can tell, this bottle of Admiral Rodney's Officer's Release Number 1 from St. Lucian. Now this is my first bottle of St. Lucian rum. My friend might suggest me that I do try it. Uh, you know who you are, I won't mention on any names, Mr. Ribbing. Um, so a little bit of information about this bottle from the website. Uh, it's distilled in 2006, when stored in ex bourbon casks for a period of 13 years before being finished off in ex port casks for nine months. On the Whiskey Exchange website, on this competition, which is where I found this, if you go onto the Whiskey Exchange homepage, the link will be right down here, you'll see that uh, there is a competition which they're currently running up until July the 11th, where if you buy a bottle of this rum, you get entered into the prize draw to win uh, seven. Uh, some, seven solution rums, all varying, and it looks like a good thing to enter into. Plus, you get a stunning bottle like this. Well, you don't know something about yet, but you will do soon. Sorry, my chair's been creaking. Quarantine means I spend a lot of time in this chair, as I've been to the office in quite some time. So, on the Wexley Exchange website, they say it's a rum with considerable heft and gravitas, laden with honeyed fruit and earthly tobacco notes. Whether or not that knew that's true, as I said, I am not a connoisseur that's all nice talking. But uh, throw that notepad away and we'll get on to actually what the box says. So I have not known too much about Amarone beforehand, and if you haven't, here's a bit of an in. Before I start reading this really long bit of history which I'm about to read in this video, here's a timestamp where you can skip ahead to, to skip about three or four minutes of me reading uh, the history of Amarone itself. True. Now this is quite long, I shall make it short as possible. Not that I'm available for voice acting or anything, but I am. So, this is uh, a bit of history about Admiral George Brides Rodney, First Baron Rodney K.B., who lived from 1718 to 1792. He was autocratic, sybaritic, and brilliant. Admiral George Brides Rodney was in turn a brilliant naval strategist, an inverted gambler, I'm not sure how you say that, the word will be right there, and an unscrupulous officer, of, unscrupulous collector of the spoils of war. Basically, he profited from war. He will forever be remembered as the admiral who broke the French line at the Battle of the Saints, thus ensuring British domination of the Caribbean. This is why I like this guy. Any man who can beat the French in the Caribbean to ensure that we had the best, that England had the best rums? Good man. In fact, anyone who beats the French, I'm right up there. Uh, by the spring of 1782, the French fleet led by Admiral Francois-Joseph Paul Comte de Grasse, Oh, I'm not too far away from grass here in Monaco, hello. <laughs> was greedily eyeing the Caribbean sugar islands. However, Rodney knew de Grasse's intentions and pursued and confronted the French on April 12th. The famous Battle of the Saints began. The two fleets met on opposite course, in line as was the convention near Les Îles de Saint. But a sudden change of wind confused the French. The French do get confused quite quickly by a change of wind, even though I don't mean hello. And gaps appeared in their line. With a flash of tactical genius, Rodney ordered his ships to turn 90 degrees and to break the French line. In doing so, the guns on both sides of the English ships were brought to bear on the French line with little risk of return fire. De Grasse could not reform his line, and by late afternoon, his 130-gun flagship, that's quite large in naval terms, uh, Ville de Paris, he called it up to Paris, very nice, very noble, 
struck her colours, giving Rodney victory and the English hegemony on the Caribbean. The Admiral Rodney series is a Admiral Rodney, a series of award-winning rams, celebrates his famous naval battle and toasts the courage and valour of the British sailors who broke the line and vanquished the French fleet. So that's what it says right there, as I'm not going to put it all up here. I could take that space, I guess. And I'm not going to read anything more. I've been reading for about five minutes. My voice is getting quite parched. Let's just crack this bottle open and see what's inside. First and foremost, Whiskey Exchange, they do like to make sure their bottles are packed appropriately. So lots and lots of these, which I'm going to try to not get all over my floor. Which, of course, they are. And as you see, my floor is a bit of a mess as is. Um, but there you go. So the color itself, yes, it's got a great color to it. Really beautiful color. Love the shape of the bottle. Now, I'm going to go and grab a glass quickly because this is going to be a long video because I had to read so much information. Um, and I have to say, break the line, a very, very nice touch. Uh, as we just heard the history, we now all know why break the line is there. And most importantly, so do I. So, uh, I will be back in just one second with a glass and some ice to see if I rock this or see if I birthday suit it. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, well, I've got my glass, I've got my eye, so let's crack this bottle of Admiral Rodney's Officers Release number one open. We've heard so much about it, we've heard the history about it. Sorry for taking so long. And here we go. Ooh. And even a proper cork, which is very nice. I have to say, I do like this. It is especially very beefy for someone with my size hands. It's very satisfying to grip hold of this bottle, grip hold of the top of it, and to open it. So, let's pour away. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, I've just had my lunch, so might as well. Pour a decent amount in there. Now, ooh. Normally I try these rums beforehand, but this is the first time. I'll quickly show you how it looks in the light. Great color to it. Really strong amber. The nose, I can't pick up anything overtly. There is a bit of a port, there is a give you that, there is a bit of a port smell to it. But the only way to try it now is to... Cheers. Oh, wow. That is incredibly smooth. I probably forgot to mention this, I believe, is about 45%. This bottle is... Oh, my God, that's smooth. You don't need to rock this. The flavors are incredible. Can I taste... The earthly tobacco notes? Quite possibly. If I had scalded me, of course, I'd taste them even more. Uh, next time, that's for sure. But uh, aside from that, wow. Sebastian, you were right. St. Lucian rum is fantastic. And this limited edition bottle, maybe it's just this limited edition bottle. Anyone, if any can rec anyone can recommend others than any other St. Lucian rums for me to try, please comment down below and I will do my best to get them. But this is incredible. The nose, not so much. The nose is quite dry. It doesn't give, doesn't tell you very much about it. But the flavor, more please. Um, the flavor is delicious. I don't need to put a rock with it, but as I, in my experience, rums tend to process and develop much more once they've had a rock or two inside of them. And it tends to open up the flavors significantly. So I always have a ball of ice with me, just in case. You can rock it, you can birthday suit it, or you can rock it. I have to say, this bottle in particular, I'm gonna have a very nice afternoon now. Anyways, and gentlemen, I shall put a link to the competition down below, as mentioned previous. This bottle of Admiral Romney's Officers Release Number One. I don't have a seal of approval just yet, but it is absolutely a must-buy. Before the competition, 
or not. It will go well in any collectors and especially at the price of about 60 pounds, 70 euros or so. You can't go wrong with it. It's just delicious and I'm gonna have a very, very pleasant afternoon now. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining me. Again, sorry for taking so long between videos now. I will be doing, trying to do more two a week, up to two a week. Maybe more, I don't know. But uh, don't forget to hashtag run for your life. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that bell icon up down there. This is quite a long video. I know it's unboxing and I had to read all this blurb here so you know about the history about Admiral Rodney. So I knew about the history about Admiral Rodney and why it says break the line. And gentlemen, thank you so much again for joining. Sorry for taking so this video for taking so long. But I look forward to seeing you next time. Well, you'll be seeing me, I won't be seeing you. But if you see me out at the bar, please don't forget to drag me. My name is Christian, I'm the Rum Director, and you guys have been fantastic for waiting this long, for staying so long, and I'm trying to be as entertaining as humanly possible. And again, uh, it's the very interesting thing, it takes so long to say goodbye. Goodbye!